guys. <laughs> now nah, I'm just playing. Anyways, hello guys. It's me, John the Silver, gracing you once again. Oh no, that's too extra. <laughs> nah, but I'm back. It's been, I think, more than a year since I actually made like a sit down video and talking. Yeah, I think it was last year, maybe April sort of time. Um, a lot has happened since then, to say the very least. Um, I finished my first year of uni. Yeah. Oh my goodness, what an experience. That's like a completely other video. Like if I'm being honest, I can make episode upon episode talking about my experiences in my first year. Oh my goodness, it was just a roll. Think of a roller coaster, times it by three and then times that by two. That's what it was. But anyways, um, today is Wednesday, the 27th of July. And on Monday, it was my sister's graduation. Uh, so congrats to you, Amanda. Eu te amo para sempre love you going to her graduation was like a like an emotional experience to say the real like the very least because i know that for my first year like that was a really tough time i can't imagine how many backstories there was behind all of those walks across those stages you know to be greeted by the um whoever it is up there and just like all of the different difficulties that you know maybe some people were dealing with and they still got their degree and they got their education and they're just there being celebrated so that was yeah that was a good experience besides that i think two weeks ago i made a tiktok now i was reluctant at first to make a tiktok <laughs> let me let me sip on that to be fair listen tiktok is brutal all right what people don't say on youtube what people don't say on twitter what people don't say on instagram people will say it on tiktok it's not to say that that's a bad thing however um when it comes to criticism i'm not the best person to like give criticism to or maybe i wasn't the best person i've changed a lot and I'm, I'm able to take criticism now because i understand that any criticism towards me doesn't define my competence it doesn't mean that i'm incompetent if i get negative feedback it merely just means that there's something that i could work on and i think that's kind of that's part of my process of maturing anyways and most people think i'm older than my age so hey very unexpected very unexpected for people to actually like my content i haven't posted a lot on there but my highest liked tiktok is like me singing along to jay huss's did you see I bet some of you lot watching this probably might have seen it it's upwards to like 26k as we speak right now 26k likes but like i really didn't even try i filmed that whilst you know whilst i was at work during my break <laughs> so yeah it's not really related to my music you know my most liked tiktok but hey you know, one thing that I think is really easy um, on TikTok to do is kind of compare yourself because there's a lot, you know, the al algorithm is going to like give you all the content like that is similar to yours, right? So, I mean, I've seen so many, oh my goodness, countless, countless other artists that are just promoting their music, you know, producers. I've got some mutuals. Hey, mutuals. Oh my gosh. Like there's so many mutuals and it's people that I really, really dig their content. Like I really like their content. I really like their music. I rate it. So yeah, you get, you know, given all of this content that is similar to yours. So I was like swimming in the sea of TikToks of just like new up and coming artists promote, promoting their music. Some people that are really like much better than me and that I'm much more talented. However, I just kept thinking, you know, like with all of this, if there's so many people trying to put themselves out there, there's so many people that kind of like the style that I like, make the style that I like, what is going to differentiate me from the rest of these people? You know what I mean? There's not much to say. But then it got me thinking. I will, we were on the way back from my sister's graduation in the car. And I put on this playlist and I was just listening to it. It was kind of like Discover New Neo So whatever the case may be. I have Spotify and Apple Music, but that's besides the point. I think it was on Apple Music. Went on there, got to one of the playlists and I put it on and it was like New Neo Soul Discover whatever. Um, Started listening to it and like nothing clicked. Nothing grabbed my attention. Nothing grabbed it. Then out of the blue, I remember that I saw like a video recommended on my YouTube. For those of you who don't know, black gospel music is, you know, what I grew up listening to. And so then I remember that there was this one YouTube uh, video that was recommended to me by the, you know, it was just a choir that I had never heard of. And I went and I listened to that album. 
and then all the dullness of me listening to like that huge playlist and nothing clicked when i started listening to that album oh my goodness oh my gosh i just it wasn't even that it was well produced okay it wasn't even that you know it was well engineered because it wasn't you know and it was a mass choir so you couldn't really you know hear the intricacies you know the choir was like an attack let me stop going out on tangents but it was just the, my excitement i physically couldn't stop myself from smiling and grinning i looked like a complete idiot but it clicked and then what else clicked is that no one is gonna listen to music the way that i listen to it no one is gonna have the same interest as me as much as other people do like you know gospel music or whatever no one is ever gonna know what triggers my like emotions when i listen to music that i like no one will be able to produce what i produce no one will be able to and not in a cocky way but just in a way that you know you're unique like in time you will discover what will differentiate you from other people that's basically all i'm saying this kind of takes me back to the days that i was dancing as well um pre-covid and pre my cancer diagnosis for those of you who don't know i had cancer a couple of years back but yeah um before that i was trying to get into the dance industry i was just actively like just taking classes up in london and just training my butt off literally and just you know investing my all into dance you know and it was kind of like really difficult because you know the, the dance industry if you know and if you've ever been around people that are in the dance industry in london or you try to get into it you know what i'm talking about comparing yourself in dance is like is a way bigger thing than in music it's at least for me I didn't, you know in my experience but like in dance it's just constant and you go into you know the dance classes and the dance classes look like a like a war zone like people are fighting for their spots you know in the dance video at the end of the class it's just so terrible you know i have so many bad experiences in that field um luckily i mean if one day i do go back to dancing which i you know i love dance but if one day i do go back to it i just want to do it for fun because you know comparing yourself like i've i already have that instinct as a dancer to compare myself look at that person that you know their freestyle is sick their execution is great whatever the heck blah 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 it's just so many variables it kind of goes back to like how old you are how young you started training it's just like a lot of things i know i'm going off topic but there really is no topic this is just a random video but all I have to say, if if I'm going to leave anything important for anybody who's watching is don't compare yourself, don't compare your skills. Your experience is unique. What catches your intent, what catches your attention makes you unique. Even if people are going to say that they, you know, like the same music that you do, they make the same music that you do. If people tell you that your style is like super common, don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. It's not worth listening to them. Honestly, it isn't. Try and break out of your shelf a little bit. I know I have, and it's been really beneficial. I mean, just in general, like being able to really be myself. You know what I mean? Because you know, you can't be, you can't be scared of criticisms. I've gained so much weight right now. <laughs> And I know because, you know, Brazilian people, yeah, they don't play. I bet a bunch of people that are watching this are going to say, Oh, do we come to want that word, meu Deus? I don't care. I really don't care. Because at the end of the day, nobody knows my circumstances and my experience is unique. So, um, yeah, if I have to leave you with anything, be yourself. Embrace your unique experience and take risks. I know I didn't talk too much, but yeah. <laughs> So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more content. Subscribe if you want to see more musical content. If you want to see tutorials, whatever the heck, how I make beats, how I compose, whatever. I'm up, I'm down for anything, really. I just need the motivation. And that's it, guys. I love you all. Thank you so much for the support. Everybody who saw me on TikTok, thank you so much for the support as well. But yeah, thank you everybody. Thank you so much for the support. It was really like, it was not expected. It was so random to me, but all I have to say is thank you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.